flu grade fever. Ignore me. Do I use a thumbnail for this video where I'm not on death's door? My fever just broke. I am so sweaty. <laughs> friends and welcome to this audition song idea video. If you feel like you're having deja vu right now and you're like, haven't I seen this intro already? You might have if you've seen the other videos in this series because I'm actually using the same intro for all of them. If you haven't seen any of my other audition song idea videos where I'm using the same intro, I really highly suggest you stay and watch the intro because I'm sharing a bunch of crucial information. Stuff that you'll need to know for the rest of the video and advice that can effectively save you from having your worst audition ever and choosing the wrong, completely inappropriate material. If you've already seen another video in this series and you know all of the super important info I'm about to say, skip forward to this time for the audition song ideas. Also, if this is just in general your first time seeing my face, hi, my name's Katherine Steele and I really like musicals. Welcome to my musical theater internet cult and if you like cults and slash or musical theater, hit subscribe to join the cult. First we take over Broadway and then the world. World domination through show tunes. Question of the day, what show are you auditioning for next? Geek out about it in the comments down below. So let's jump right into this crucial information so I can share the audition song ideas with you guys. First off, in this video I am going to be sharing a ton of audition song ideas. Keep in mind that not every song will be a perfect fit for you, nor will it be a perfect fit for every audition. Audition material is very personal and very nuanced, so just because something is on the list doesn't necessarily mean that it'll be a great fit for you. For example, Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid would be a perfect audition song if you're auditioning for a kids community theater production of Beauty and the Beast. But I would never recommend that as an audition song if you're auditioning on a professional level or anything bigger than kids community theater. So take the advice and the ideas that are relevant to you and the level you're auditioning at. Also keep in mind that just because a song is listed as soprano and you're a soprano, it doesn't necessarily mean that it'll fit in your vocal sweet spot. Additionally, just just because a song is listed as another voice type or belongs to a character who traditionally does have another voice type doesn't mean that it won't fit you and it can't be the perfect audition song for you. Sometimes you need to just use material that fits the style of the show or the style of the character that you're auditioning for. For example, I'm a legit soprano, which means that if I could sing something like Greenfinch and Lynette Bird from Sweeney Todd for every audition for the rest of my life, I would be super happy about it. But if I was auditioning for a show like Heather's or Jesus Christ Superstar, I wouldn't sing that because it's useless. Depending at what level you're auditioning at, casting directors are anticipating everyone to be good singers. So they're not looking for good singers. Everyone there is a good singer. What they're looking for are the people who are going to be the best fit for this show and this cast. You're not doing yourself or the casting team any favors if you're hiding the relevant talent needed for that show. Here are some other guidelines to keep in mind when you're choosing an audition song. Your audition song should be from a role that you could currently realistically play, unless you're auditioning for kid or teen community theater, in which case you have a little more flexibility when it comes to the age. Make sure that the song fits not only the style of the show you're auditioning for, but the character you're auditioning for. For example, if you're auditioning for someone with really, really low self-esteem, maybe don't choose a song that's all about how good looking you are. Hair flip. Make sure your song fits all of the audition guidelines in terms of cut length, publishing date, style, or anything else. If the casting team put out directions in the breakdown, follow those directions. There is no easier way to piss off a casting director than by not following the instructions. If your audition song technically fits the requirement, but you know that you're bending the rules, don't. If your audition panel wants you to sing a contemporary musical theater song, let's say you're auditioning for Kinky Boots, don't go in there with an audition song from Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, even though it won the Tony the year after Kinky Boots won the Tony, they are two completely different styles. Again, you want to showcase the relevant talents needed for this show and for this audition. Also, I have a whole other video on finding audition songs and the guidelines that I personally use to find my audition rep. So if you need more advice or tips or ideas, I'll link that down below, so definitely check that out. But without any further adieu, let's jump on into those audition song ideas.
Hey guys, please forgive me if I'm a little low energy today. I am so insanely sick, but my fever just broke, antibiotics are on the way, and I didn't want you guys to not have a video today. So here I am assisting you from beyond the grave. Because I'm a ghost, I've died. Please send help. First, a quick note about mezzos, mezzo belters, mezzo mixers, mezzo sopranos, second sopranos, whatever you wanna call this general vocal range. There's a lot of repertoire that can fit in there. In fact, I would venture to say that the vast majority majority of what is being written as contemporary musical theater fits into this vocal category. Some of the songs that I'm going to list might be qualified as sopranos, some of the songs in the soprano categories can totally be sung by mezzos. Try not to limit your rep options just based off of your voice type. There might be something really good that you can sing that would be qualified for another type. So in this list of mezzo audition songs, I was able to put together over 250. So I'm gonna do the first 50 today. Let me know if you want more of these videos or if you want me to continue with the list or something in that vein in the comments down below. Again, these are in general alphabetical order by show. Let's jump on into it. Crazier Than You, One Normal Night, and pulled from the Adams Family. I mentioned this in previous videos, but a really great trick is to try to find group numbers, duets, trios, and pull a solo cut out of there, depending on your audition requirements. Like if you only need eight bars or 16 bars, might be a really cool way to get some really underused rep. Easy as life, I know the truth, my strongest suit, and the past is another land from Aida. Can we please get an Aida revival up in here? Cynthia Arrivo! I just want that so badly. I love that score. Anything you can do, I can do better. Can't get a man with a gun. Doing what comes naturally. I got lost in his arms. They say it's wonderful. I got the sun in the morning. All from Annie Get Your Gun. Annie Get Your Gun is kind of a comedic belter gold mine. There won't be trumpets from Anyone Can Whistle. Anything goes, blow Gabriel blow, and I get a kick out of you from Anything Goes. There's probably more material in Anything Goes. Admittedly, I just don't know it super, super well. But I'm sure there's a lot more. Gorgeous from The Apple Tree. Anything But Lonely from Aspects of Love. Fine, fine line and special from Avenue Q. I can make you feel special. I'm running a low grade fever. Ignore me. I wish I were in love again, Johnny One Note, and The Lady is a Tramp from Babes in Arms. Meadowlark from The Baker's Wife. There's truly nothing better than like a well-acted rendition of Meadowlark. Truly my guilty pleasure. Now you know what I do in my free time. A Change in Me from Beauty and the Beast. Barbara 2.0, Dead Mom, and Home from Beetlejuice. You could probably also find a cut in Ready, Set, Not Yet. I don't know. I Love Play Rehearsal and The Smartphone Hour from Be More Chill. Hard Candy Christmas from Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Dying Ain't So Bad and How About a Dance from Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde deserved better. I am legally contracted that anytime I mention Bonnie and Clyde on the internet, I have to follow it up with. Bonnie and Clyde deserved better. Killer Instinct and One Perfect Moment from Bring It On. Just the entirety of Cabaret. Don't tell mama, maybe this time. Mine hair, so what? What would you do? Did I miss one? I think I got it. That's a show that makes me wish that I could like switch casting types for a night. Be like a really leggy, sexy, brunette, belter, dancer girl. But I will just enjoy Cabaret as a short soprano from the audience. Memory from Cat. Fly Fly Away from Catch Me If You Can. Another phenomenal show. I love Catch Me If You Can. That's just a good movie too. I love Amy Adams. Carrie, Why Not Me, and World According to Chris from Carrie the Musical. Stepsister's Lament from Cinderella. Heaven Help My Heart and Someone Else's Story from Chess. And that, my friends, are the first 50 ideas on this mezzo, soprano, belter, mixer, screlter audition song idea list. Be sure to let me know if you want me to continue with this series because again, I have another 200 audition song ideas just for this voice type alone and I have a lot more to cover. If you're new here and you love musical theater, you love geeking out, you want audition advice, you want the inside scoop on Broadway news, be sure to hit subscribe. Also, real quick, editing cat here. Hi, hello from beyond the grave why was i about to say that i'm not dead um i just wanted to say thank you all so much for all of the wonderful birthday wishes and fan art and edits and just all all the nice things that you guys have done to help bring in my 23rd year on earth y'all are wonderful and i love my job here and what i get to do on youtube as a creator and as a geek and as a friend like i'm just really grateful that we're all internet friends and and you guys rock so i just wanted to say a big heartfelt thank you for all of that and uh yeah okay i guess i'll see you guys real soon in the next video unless i do become a ghost in which case ghost vlogs why am i like this i will say if i had to be a ghost i would be a ghost like maitland style with like a sheet over me 
or just hanging out with Carrie Butler in the afterlife. Both sound good to me. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.